do you need a portable ice maker in your shop? Maybe you do. Maybe you don't need it in the shop. Maybe you need it somewhere else. What I've got here sitting in front of me is the Anvil ice maker and shaver. And you can see how well the shaver works. No, it's not that kind of shaver. But it does make great snow cones. We're going to talk about it coming up. I'm Roger, welcome to the shop. What I'm going to talk about here is uh, a portable ice maker. Maybe it's not something you would normally think of that you would need in your shop. And of course my shop's a mess because everything has its place and most things aren't in it. But otherwise, what I'm going to talk about here is this ice maker and you're looking at the back of it right there. It's uh, got this on Amazon. Uh, the brand name is Anbull. And it's a combination ice maker and shaver. And it makes... Uh, Ice cubes, like this. Nice little bullet plate uh, shape, round. Uh, there's also an option to get one that uh, makes square ice cubes. But I opted for this one because it has a slightly smaller footprint. If you've seen any of my previous videos, for example with the uh, restoration of the pontoon boat I did, you'll know that we have a uh, permanent campsite along the Mississippi River and we have a cabana there that looks like this. Spend a lot of time there, and uh, especially on the weekends. Uh, of course, during the summer and the winter time, it wouldn't be any point in being up there. But uh, during the summer, we uh, entertain people frequently, and of course, I also partake in the uh, frequent adult beverage. And a subject there is to have ice. And if you ran out of ice, and you have guests, and you're trying to make cocktails, that becomes a cocktail emergency. And this will alleviate that because this will make a little batch of ice in between 8 and oh, 12 minutes, depending on the ambient temperature. And the great thing about this is you don't need to have it hooked up to a permanent water supply. You can use, uh, well, water. No, that's not right. Well water. No, that's not right either. Well water. That's what we're using is water from our well. And it's been run through a, uh, a treatment system. There is running water, and I could hook it up permanently up at the uh, cabana. The problem is uh, the water up there is fine for, let's say, taking a shower or washing your dishes or that type of thing. But it has a flavor. And not a real good flavor. And I don't want that in my ice. And although this uh, does come with a water filter right here and tubing and... All the fittings you need to hook it up to a permanent water supply. I don't want to try to rely on the water supply up there. We'll uh, take our own water or we'll bring bottled water. And that's what's nice about this is you can just, uh, just add water and it makes ice. It's just that simple. And as a bonus, it does, uh, it shaves ice, which makes uh, what they call snow cones. Uh, the grandkids and the great granddaughter are absolutely nuts about snow cones. And I've also found something out, if you uh, mix certain adult uh, beverages together, you can make an adult snow cone. Uh, for example, uh, cream de mint and cream de coco. In equal parts with an equal uh, amount of simple syrup, pour it over that snow cone, where it'll taste just like a grasshopper. The drink, not the bug. And uh, I also like to uh, mix uh, Captain Morgan and Cherry Dr. Pepper. It also makes a good snow cone topping. And I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration about how this thing works. Okay, so this gives you a little bit of a view of the front of it here. And this is, here's the, the drain hose, which you would definitely want to have hooked up. Uh, this little door right here you open, and there's a container that is supplied for your shaved ice. And I'll show you how that works here in just a minute. And of course, right now it is full of ice because I've been running this today. And it's a little dusty, but it's dusty in here. We're in the shop. The top opens up, and there you have the ice. And to make the shaved ice, you just simply move a few ice cubes here. Move this cover. Yeah, my hands are clean. I should be using an ice scoop, but we're not going to eat this anyway. Let's add some ice to the hopper there. Put the lid back on. 
close the cover here and right on the front little button there that says shaved ice just turn that on and you listen until it quits making the shaving ice sound right about there hit that again and you have an instant snow cone just like that The other nice thing about this is, as I said, you can add uh, water right below this ice basket here. And this is quite full because I've been making ice all day. Right below this basket is the reservoir. And in that reservoir is where you would uh, add your water to. And as you saw right there, of course it's not making any ice right now, but that is how it flips the ice up and into the bucket. And we're about to eject some ice here. As you can see, it makes these nice little round cubes. They drop off. It takes about eight minutes to make a batch. And there's a little paddle in the back that will come forward. Like so. And push them into the reservoir. Works perfect. So that gives you an overview of this uh, portable ice maker. And it is not heavy. It's very easy to pick up, even full of ice. And it, it's a countertop type model and we'll be using it up at the cabana this summer. Right now I've been using it in the shop to uh, not only have a little bit of ice for a, occasional uh, refreshment, but the grandkids when they're over and the great granddaughter when she's over here absolutely loves snow cones. And this makes them up real quick. And as I mentioned earlier, it does come with a water filter that does mount on the back back here that comes with brackets. And it comes with the uh, all the tubing you need. All the fittings you need, and even a roll of Teflon tape, so you can hook this up to a permanent water supply. Uh, in my particular application, that won't work, but uh, oh, it also comes with an instruction book, and it's pretty clear and concise and pretty simple. It guides you through how to hook everything up and uh, how to hook that water supply up. And you definitely want to have the drain hose on it because if you uh, should happen to overfill the water reservoir, the water has to have a place to go. And if you uh, happen to make some shaved ice when there's no container in there, it's going to melt, it has to go somewhere, and that will be running out the drain hose. And we're going to just run that drain hose into a, like a gallon jug. I don't uh, foresee overfilling this. It's pretty obvious to see how full the fillet. It's right under the ice basket. There is a level line there. There is a float. Uh, if you have it hooked up for uh, automatic fill, into a permanent water supply, that float will turn the water supply on and off. So, great little thing. Can't say enough good things about it. I'm uh, glad we got it. I'm sure it's going to get a whole lot of good use this summer. So if you got anything out of this, uh, I know it's a little bit out of the ordinary for something in the shop, but maybe you need this in the shop for some refreshments every now and then. If you like this, appreciate getting a thumbs up. It always helps the channel. Of course, we're always looking for subscribers, and next is that subscribe button is a little bell. If you click that bell, you'll be notified when I post another video. The Wise and Rods are in the shop with the Anvil Ice Maker and Shaver. See you in the next one.